Testing one, two, testing one, two. Hey, so I'm back with more um, Ionic Amplify content. I did a video series on Ionic, Vue.js, and Amplify, showing how to integrate data store and integrate storage and authentication to a simple application. I haven't really generated that much React content, so I thought it might be interesting to try to implement a similar solution in React. So if this is something you like or you're interested in, please make sure you like and subscribe, share with your friends, and let's kind of get to the setup. So I'm going to be following along this basic documentation here. I will include the links in the bio, but uh, first let's make sure we install everything. I, I already have the Amplify TLI installed from previously. So what I need to do is I need to um, add uh, Amplify library and the UI components that I'm going to use to log in. npm install. So let's let this run. So I'm going to use those commands. And then, so like I said, I've already installed the CLI from my view example. We need to set up and configure this. So after we install these basic libraries, we'll run the Amplify configure to get Amplify set up. So the steps for Amplify configure, I realize that I don't need to run them because I already have configured Amplify. So um, you need to follow these steps to get your user set up and everything. Um, I'm just going to jump to the part where your user is already set up and configured. So pause and get that straight. So we're going to initialize to an Amplify init. Initialize project with configuration. I'm going to use my AWS profile default. And now it's initializing my project in the cloud. Let me get this mess out of here. And so what should happen is here on my console, my app should appear. It has appeared and it's starting to process it now. So it's setting up everything in the cloud. I've, I had already, I already have done all this stuff. So my user is already set up. So that's what this whole whole thing is about. If you haven't set up a user before, you're going to have to go through this whole process here. Since I have already set up a user, I, I didn't have to do any of that stuff. I just needed to get my project set up. Now my project set up after running the Amplify init. So um, let's go look at my project. So here's my the back end of my project that exists. Um, I'm going to try to follow along. So are we going to stick with the... Um, Get it started. Yeah, so let's hop over here to authentication. We're gonna over we're gonna add auth. We're gonna use the default configuration. We want the user to be able to sign with an email address. No advanced configuration. So now that's all set up. And so now we need to push this to the back end. Yes, I want to continue. Um, this provides a visual um, UI to kind of see what's going on in the back. Um, so let's uh, set up the admin UI. Uh, let's turn it on. Okay, so we have our back end set up. Um, let's go in, let's like open our admin UI. And you can see that the authentication has been deployed. We can look at our settings, so it's the email address. Um, and so it looks like we're all good here. And so now, pull the latest source code. We shouldn't have to pull, but basically when you pull, you can copy this command here. You go down and you say pull, and it takes any changes that were made up in the cloud and pulls them down to your local device. As you can see, there's no changes, so it says no changes. The other cool thing is here, it has the documentation, so you can click on um, auth, 
for more functionality, click, click in the docs. And if you click the link, it'll take you to the appropriate documentation. Um, so let's just go here to JavaScript and let's see, authentication, you have password customize. Let's see, customize UIs components. Getting started, authentication service, we're not gonna do that. Um, yeah, let's be, let's get let's get our app set up now. So um, we've already installed the Amplify. Let's bring in our imports that we're gonna need. So let's go over here to our React application, paste in the imports that we need. Um, but since I'm gonna use pre-built components, I remember in the beginning I ran this install already. So I need to I need to import a couple other things. So let's import this. Is this the latest version? It's interesting because the doc was different. Using pre-built components, React. Yeah, I, I think that. Yeah, it looks like the doc doesn't match. Let's see. Because this is the other set of documentation that I have right here. And this will be the link that I'll include. So let's copy this code here. So we have these brought in on uh, the configuration. Okay, um, AWS exports, why isn't this working? Let's see, it's, I think we were in the wrong path because it put AWS exports in the root and we're inside a home, so we needed to address that issue. So that's done. All right, let's um, get to adding the UI. So the trick that I'm gonna do, I mean, they, they do it a little bit different here in React. So let me let me try the React approach. React approach. Let's just wrap my whole home page with the Authenticator, and then inside my app, we'll add the sign out. We're just going to do this now to check everything out, and then I believe also you can do this: username, alias, this email. Looks that's what we're using. And um, let's see what we get. This is my app. Is it over here running still? Hmm. There you go. So it's not authenticated. So I'm getting this UI at the start of my app. Let's see if I can create an account. Let's uh, create account. Let's use that one. And uh, create account. All right. It sent the code to my email. That was the ding you just heard. And then I use that code to confirm my account. Confirm. And then now I'm logged in. So we have this sign out thing up at the top. That's not what we want. We want to put this at the bottom. So we're going to add an ion footer. And we're going to kind of, let's import this. Add all missing imports. Let's try this again. There you go. We're going to move this sign out down to here. So no thanks. So now we have our sign out button all the way down at the bottom, which is what we wanted. Kind of format that. And then um, now I'm back here. And then um, I can sign in. And we're signed in. So very quickly, we were able to get an account set up and a, be able to log in and log out. Um, let's add some data. Let's see if we can get that going and quickly show how to just list some data. So if I go back to my admin, we can look at our users. So here's my user management. Here's my user that I created. Um, so that's very, very cool. Uh, you can do groups and a bunch of other things, but we're not going to cover that here. Let's go over the content. In order to manage content, you need a data model. So let's set up. Uh, we're going to use doo -doo 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 -doo, a simple auth mode to enable public access only. 
Let's switch our authentication mode. Change. I am pretty certain I'm going to have to pull since I just changed this. We're going to let's add our model here also since we're here. Let's call it task. It's got an ID. It's got a title. Add a field. It's got a description. And because I'm also going to add an image, I'm going to call this image key. And that will be associated. That's the key that will help us get the image. But we'll get to that later. But I just want to put the placeholder in there now. So we're going to say, um, for now, a title is required. The description is required. But the image key is not required. So we're going to save and deploy. Now, while it's deploying, let's see if we can hop ahead and get to the doc. So let's see, manipulating data. So here's data source save. Query data. We just want to do a query, and this will get us all of our posts. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a component that goes in here. A list tasks. And my list task component, I'm going to try to keep things simple for now. Uh, component. Uh, list. Make this functional component. We don't need to do that. But inside of here, we'll say use effect. And we will get our data and we'll render it here. So what we'll do is we'll follow this. So we're going to say boom, boom, boom. Uh, it's going to complain about const load data. Load this guy in here and placing AS, Y, and Z. And then down here, we'll call load data. And then we need our data store, so we need to import that. And then our type is a task. And then what we'll do up here is we'll say const. And then we will set data post okay, let's call them tasks let's say as am I can I get away with this I want to go on the TypeScript I want to get on the TypeScript train right now let's see is my um, admin looks like it's done let's see and I can see my content yes they are tasks so that's a type task but um, I need to do my local setup. So let's see what it says here. I need to pull. So let's kind of copy this and pull my changes. And up here, all we're going to do is we're just going to loop through the items. Oh. So task. Um, we've already implemented. So let's just pull this over. To import tasks up here at the top. Already got data store. So let's see where models. Models is up there. So let's import tasks. So now we got our task data. What's complaining about? We're gonna look through data down here at the bottom. So we have your typical. Let's so we can use let's let's bring in some ionic stuff. So let's do ion list. I see. Ion item. And then what we're going to do is keep it simple for now. Okay, let's uh, try to hopefully to sound. I can get it out in the edit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to loop through. So we're going to say do this. And we're going to do our data map T. And then we're just going to say T. Let's say JSON stringify T. And close that up. T any an item. 
Let's see what did I miss? Uh, map. Leave this back here. Okay. okay. Let's see what's going on with our data. I guess we're logged in. I need to add some data. Let's see what's going on with our data. We're logged in. Let's see. I need to go to my console. Here's my admin console. Here we go. I go to my content and we don't oh. go to my content and I don't have any data. This is users. Let me just make this bigger. All right. Uh, so it's kind of cool because you can manage your content here. My content's pretty straightforward. So I can add a task. So let's create a task. Let's save the task. And there you can see it, my task has showed up. And now let's do just a little bit of UI cleanup on this task. So we're down here, we have our eye on item. So let's put two tasks in here so that we can at least get a decent looking, um, you can see what the list looks like. Where's my data? I'm gonna close some of these windows. All right, I'm back here in my admin. Task one, let's create a task. All right, save task. Go back, and now we have our second task. Okay, so uh, we have our two tasks. They're being rendered. Let's clean this up a bit. So we're gonna take this stringify out of here, and we are going to do an hang on label. And then we are going to do a, let's just keep it simple. I think I can do this, P, and let's say task.title. Then, hold on. Uh, yes, task.title, P, T, dot description. And then, oh, so you can just do it like that. Let's go kind of wrap these guys in something. So now we have our descriptions and then let's make sure that this text wraps appropriately. So let's go up here and put this on our label. And why am I doing that? I'm doing that so that when I wear my documents. So when I go in here, it's just, this is a description for task two. I will make it something long so that it wraps. All right. So now we can see that it's wrapping, which is what I wanted to look for. And then the last thing is, let's just make sure we get the ID in here. So we get the ID down there in the bottom. And style, zoom, zoom is my new lazy way to shrink stuff, 0 0.8. Because I'm too lazy to try to play at font size. So now we have our basic list. Um, let's sign out. Let's sign back in and then we get our data. So that's what I wanted to cover for this first pass. In the next pass, what I'm going to do is we're going to create a modal input form. In the input form, We'll be able to enter these same fields, but we'll also add the ability to select an image so we can show you how to save images in S3 buckets. Hopefully this was um, helpful to someone. Um, and uh, please leave your feedback. Um, what else you would like to see me add to the video to make it a little bit clearer, make it more enjoyable. And um, take care and see you next time. Bye.